involves right triangle, so we use proportions to find side lengths of a right triangle the last two days. And we also know you, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. So why don't you guys jot this down? Yes, sir. Oh, it's coming. It's just not here yet still. So we already know this. Um, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find sides of a right triangle. We know it needs to be right. Sides A and B are called the legs. And C is your hypotenuse. Again, this is kind of all information we already know. And we know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And I'm going to show you why the Pythagorean theorem works. So let me know when you guys are done jotting this down and I'll show you. Bless you. Last night's homework we did in class. Oh, I'll take your guys' homework. Yeah. I'll grab it after notes. Cool. Is that okay? So we love little demonstrations, right? So do you see how we have a right triangle? So the areas of the two small squares fill the area of the big one, hence why it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Right, because how do you find the area of a square? The side lengths times each other, so like a times a would be a squared. Isn't that fascinating? No? Okay, but what's really new today to us is the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. So the converse of the Pythagorean theorem will help us classify a triangle as being acute, obtuse, or right. So how you do this you figure out whatever your biggest side is, that's always going to be your C, depending on if it's less than, equal to, or greater than your other two sides squared and added together, it'll be acute, right, or obtuse. And I would always put C first because it makes more sense. So if C is less than those two, make them small, so it's acute, it's equal, it's right, and if C is bigger, then it's obviously obtuse because it's a big obtuse. How do you know which one is A, B, or C, though? The only one that matters is C, and C will always be the biggest one. And the other two, it doesn't matter what they are. One could be A, the other could be B. Those ones don't make a difference. So it says, first determine if the three side lengths could make a triangle. If yes, classify as acute, right, or obtuse. So you guys remember how to determine if the three sides make a triangle or not? How do you do that? Oh, yeah. If the, uh, they have to be more than the two, two sides have to be more than What two sides, though? The small ones. Sorry, so let's see. Our two yes. small sides would be three and seven. If I add them together, is it bigger than nine? Yeah. Okay, so we have a triangle, so that checks out. And now we're going to do the test. So out of my three sides, which one's my biggest? Nine. Nine. So we're going to have nine squared first. I like to leave it blank because I don't know what it's going to be yet. And then we're going to do these two squared. So 3 squared plus 7 squared. And now it's just crunching out the numbers. 58. So that's 81. 9 plus 49. 58. So how does 81 compare to 58? It's bigger. bigger than, so we know it is a two. Is our homework little 
Yep. Any oh, sensation yeah. is just normal things. Yeah. But I didn't see you do notes on that since you're doing that sentence. Yeah. Like Pretty much. It's just a way to classify triangles. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, so wait. Oh, so you just do. Mm -hmm. Does it have to be both? Just the normal adding? Yeah, because yeah, if you know, this like, doesn't work out, then you can't do this part. Oh, two sides greater or equal to that? Has to be. So on this one. 5 plus 11, is that bigger yeah. than 16? No. So can I even make a triangle here? No. So not angle. possible. Is that a knowledge? Angle. Oh. Yeah, that's what you said. Yeah, that's what you said. Angle. Doesn't work. Okay, then our last one. Wait. 20 plus 21, is that greater than 29? So it has to be bigger? Yep. This is like chapter five. There's two of them now. No. 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 Okay, then remember C is always our biggest one. Which one's our biggest? Mm -hmm. 29. I don't remember these what they are. Leave it blank. 20 squared plus 21 squared. Can someone help me? What's 29 squared? Uh, 841. 841? Yeah. Okay, 20 squared is 400. What's 21 squared? Uh, 441. 441? So 841 compares to 841 how? So what does that mean? They are right triangle. Because the Pythagorean theorem equaled out, so it is? Right. right. It's right. Kind of like this. Yeah, it's not so bad, is it? Oh. Okay, and one more. I think they're on a coordinate grid, right? Yeah. Okay. So it says determine whether the triangle is acute, right, or obtuse for the given vertices. Let's graph and see what we're dealing with here. One, two, three, up one. Oh, that's a bad example. So we can clearly tell this is what. Right. But what's like what's the big giveaway? What angle is my right angle? X. X. So we do know it's right. Let's pretend that we didn't have perpendicular lines here. What would your process have to be? What would you have to find? So what would you have to do? Uh, distance. You'd have to find the distance of all your sides and then plug into what we just did. Does that make sense? How would you find that? Distance formula. Distance formula. You kind of like it? We have so much time. 40 minutes for homework. Is that okay? If I just let you, set you free? Not that much. Okay. You wave me over if you need me. I'm going to double check that I like your assignment, but you get a head start on it. It's nice to come into my class. Oh. I I hate that. I'm sorry. What are your first two classes? Yeah, my phone is just a lot. I go into marketing, which is 66 squared, 12 lines, I don't like this. Okay, I'm going to check and see if I like your homework. Okay. Aren't they good? I never used to like them, and then it's like, I like. Them. I'm trying to like cheese this, but I just don't. Thank you, sir. Square root of 3267. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. Maybe the extra toasty ones. Jalapeno. Is that like the pepper jack one? No, hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. Yes.
Thanks for asking. Okay, we are on 8 2. Let's see. Let's see. 10. Twelve. Four over nine squared. Oh. Four nine squared. Well, the new book. Back up. Wait, is four nine squared the same thing as four over nine squared? So it should be sixteen over eighty one. You mean four over eighty one? You square both of them, so 4 squared to be 16, 9 squared to be 81. Oh, oh skip 36, you guys. That should be on here. Yeah, it's a proof. We're not doing that. Thank you. Yes, sir. Stop. Skip 36, sir. No formula for an angle. So you see square. Oh, we're still recording. That's fine.